Now, if I look at the line at my eye level and the meniscus of the liquid, I notice that the lower part of the meniscus is sitting exactly on the line of the volumetric flask. That means I have exactly 25.00 milliliters of the solution prepared in this volumetric flask. Now all I need to do is put the stopper back on and mix the solution well. Notice that I am supporting the stopper with my palm so it doesn't pop out. then leave it aside. When you are ready, you can take the stopper out and take as much solution as you want. However, once you have finished preparing the solution, see if the solution is clear or if it is cloudy. If the solution is cloudy, then the polarimeter will not give a stable value. So, what do we do in such a scenario? You need to filter the solution if the solution is cloudy. It may happen with your product. Your product may give a slightly cloudy solution. In that case, as I said, we have to filter the solution. But remember, we have prepared the solution of known concentration. So, when you filter the solution, you want to filter it into a container where you can keep it stoppered so that the solvent that we used, ethanol, will not evaporate off. So what I suggest you do is filter it into another volumetric flask. However, once you finish filtering it to another volumetric flask, you do not want to make up the solution to the mark again because we have taken a known amount, we have made it up to a known volume, we know the concentration of the solution. All we are trying to do by filtration is to remove the cloudiness if the solution is cloudy. Once filtering the solution into the volumetric flask, if you make it up again to the mark, then you do not know the concentration of this solution. Because while filtering, some of the solution may be absorbed on the filter paper, the volume here will naturally be below the mark. But do not mind that. Do not make it up to the line because as I said again, if you make it up to the line, you have added more solvent. Now you do not know the exact concentration. So once preparing the solution, if you have to filter, just use a funnel and a filter paper and do gravity filtration, filter the solution into another volumetric flask, but do not make up the solution. So I have my camphor solution. Similarly, you can prepare the solution for your product and then you are all set to determine the specific rotation of the camphor and your product solution that you would prepare. This is how pre we prepare a solution of known concentration to exactly second decimal place in volume, in this case 25.00 milliliters.